Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the Masterpiece Lounge with Chris Natha. As always, I invite you to share this with a friend, with your circle of influence, and to come hang out with me in the Masterpiece Lounge. Um, I enjoy coming on each and every week, sharing tips and insight, and just pouring into you to help you become a better version of yourself. I'm a certified life coach, author, and speaker, and I assist uh, female authors, speakers, and creatives discover the masterpiece within. I assist them to go from confusion to clarity in their life and business. And today is super, super special because we have a guest, and her name is Miss Keisha Miles. Welcome, Keisha. Hi, thanks so much for having me. I'm excited to be on with you in the Masterpiece Lounge. How exciting. Awesome. And as you guys can see, Keisha is, listen, her edges are laid. She looks amazing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look I tried, I tried. Look beautiful, silky skin. Guys, listen, she Thank is you. gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> on the inside and the outside. And so we're Thank so excited you. to talk to you. And I want you to tell everybody who is Keisha Miles. Okay, so Keisha Miles is a Brooklyn-born, Miami raised, and currently Houston living, newly published author. Oh my God. Let's, I think that's like the first time that I actually <laughs> said it out loud like that. But yes, I was raised in Miami. I recently moved to Houston, and I am a preschool teacher by day. And then, you know, that's the nine to five, and then we have our five to ten after that. <laughs> but... <laughs> I am just so excited that I can actually say published author. Wow. So yes, that's me in a nutshell. <laughs> awesome. Well, congratulations, Keisha, on the so book much. and becoming an author. It is a great accomplishment. Um, and so I know that you're an author. You just shared that um, incredible, incre incredible um, milestone with us. And I wanted to ask you, when did you realize that you are a storyteller? When did you come into that realization? When I was way younger, for one, um, my mom used to buy me diaries. And listen, my diaries could be turned into screenplays the way that I would write and write and write. And my imagination was just all over the place. But when I really decided that I wanted to tell a story in particular, it was through life experience. And it was like, yeah, you should tell this story. Like, people would be able to relate to this. Let me put this out there, but it started at a very young age. My imagination was like on 10. So I knew that I had to share it with people. And I love storytelling. It's nothing like a good story. <laughs> I love That's it. true. That is so true. That is awesome because I too have an imagination and um, I used to always keep journals and, and things like that as well. And I had the one with the little lock on it, trying to yes, keep that from my mom. <laughs> that didn't lock anybody out. I never understood the lock. I know. <laughs> with the little key and it was like man um my mom would be offended like why are you keeping secrets from me i'm like because i'm a preteen and that's what we do <laughs> my very jamaican mother was not phased by the little lock she thought it was cute but <laughs> it did not phase her not one bit. <laughs> oh wow that is so awesome um so we definitely have that in common um so i do have a question the title of your book is drum roll all my crazy all my crazy and so i want to know what inspired the title of your novel um okay so i have a saying um whenever you know when you're dating you meet someone new and somehow the guy always has a crazy ex that they bring up like that was the reason for the breakup she was crazy she was mm -hmm. crazy so, you know, they questioned me, like, if I have any of that. And my answer became, no, my ex got all my crazy. Like, all the crazy I had in me, he got it. So no need to worry. No more crazy left. So we're good. So that's where the title came from. Like, my ex got all of it. I have none left. Thank God. <laughs> I love it. All my crazy. I have nothing left. That's it. The crazy is gone. Uh, so um, I also want to ask, what can readers um, expect from the novel, All My Crazy? 
you can expect a very relatable story. As like as far as um, young women, you can expect a very relatable story. Like we all have that one relationship that was a learning experience to the fullest. That you it forced you to grow up in that relationship. That what you thought you knew to be what a relationship should be, completely wrong. And it's just growing pains, a lot of growing pains. And you learn it's not always best to be ride or die. Like, don't do it. Don't ride, don't die. <laughs> <Just>. <laughs> but you can expect a relatable story. Um, it is has some humor in there. It's, it has a little sass, I will say that. <laughs> a lot of my personality is in there. But you can just, it's a fast paced. It's not long and drawn out. We, I get to the point. But it's a really good story and I feel it's very relatable. And I hope that, you know, through the story too, that others can actually learn from what I did. It's better you learn from someone else's mistakes versus having to go through it yourself. So, yeah. That's awesome. And listen, we do not mind sass. We love sass. We love some personality. <laughs> so that is always welcome. That is always welcome. And I know we have some viewers who are thinking about writing a novel. They've been kind of starting and stopping. And so what advice would you give um, a fellow aspiring novelist? Hmm, it's so funny. A friend of mine, um, when I just announced my book, she asked me like, she said she loved to write. She wanted to know like what she would do to get started. So that was a good prep for this question. I told her, I said, listen, the most important part, put pen to paper or key or fingers to your keyboard and get started. Let your ideas flow, get it off your chest, and you can go back and fix it up and do stuff later, but just start. And that was important. And another important thing that really helped me like get to the finish line, get a few friends, one or two that can hold you accountable for actually getting the writing done and completing the book. Like if I didn't have my girls, Natasha and Ashley, I don't know <laughs> if I would have made it, but they were on me like, okay, did we write today? Did we do this? And then finally when I was done and it was time, did you edit today? Are you done with editing? And then when I, I gave a date, they made me give a date of when I wanted it published. And it's like, when you tell people things, it becomes real. So I tend to shy away from, you know, giving exact dates and times, cause you know, but no, they were adamant, set a date set a date and my friend would text me <laughs> every day okay we have this amount of time this amount of time are we done and sure enough on the day that i published she checked in are we done are we published i was like yes yes i've done it so definitely get someone that will hold you accountable and just start just start i mean as long as you get the thoughts out your story i feel somebody needs to hear it if if it's in you, if God's put something in you, somebody needs to hear it. So just start. Awesome. And that's usually the hardest part. <laughs> but you're absolutely right. You're absolutely correct. That is one of the hardest parts, but I'm so happy to hear that. Number one, start, right? You're telling everyone, just take action. Stop yeah. planning, stop thinking, stop taking notes. Just go for it. Start, right? And number two, to have these purpose partners in your life, these accountability um, partners, these sisters who were really just in your corner and made sure that you were um, honest with um, your assessment, your journey. They, they helped you to honor the gifts that you have. Yes. And I think that that's yes. so important. When someone um, loves you, they mm -hmm. also push you um, to be all that God has called you to be. So I'm super excited that you had the, like, yes. these ladies in your life to really help propel you closer and closer to um, your dream. You know, um, because if we're honest, a dream deferred, I truly believe a dream deferred makes the heart sick. You know, you just start to feel like, man, I've never, I've always been thinking about this. I could just never get to the finish line. And it's all about progress. Like you said, you start and you take a step forward, a step forward as you get close to step forward. And even when you're discouraged, those purpose partners, they step in and say, listen, we got your oh, yeah. back. We got even your Even when back. you don't want to hear it. They Absolutely. <laughs> And it's so yeah. important that you gave them permission um, mm -hmm. to hold you accountable. Yes. 
you know, sometimes we don't want no one to check us and tell us we're wrong or tell us that we're not pushing as much. And so the fact that you've given um, these ladies in your lives the the open, you know, door to say, listen, yeah. push me, you know, when I'm not really going. I need I need a nudge. <laughs> I need a okay. nudge. That is mm-hmm. so good. So is it fair to say that we can't do it all by ourselves? We need a support system. Yes, we definitely do. Like with how they say it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a village to publish a book. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I needed my village and my tribe and and that's how I was able to get it done. Like and that's with anything in life. Like if we were supposed to be by ourselves it wouldn't be over 7 billion people in the world. So, yeah. But um, it definitely, it's good to have that help and that support and those people that love you and want to see your dreams come true just as much as theirs. So I feel it's very important. And I'm very blessed that I had quite a few people to help me bring my dream to fruition. And I love the accountability. I love like you putting a date, you know, a deadline, even if that deadline has to change um, because it gives you something to work toward and it helps you measure the goal that you're working on. So I think that was really awesome. And I hope that all the viewers pay very close attention to that. When you are setting your goals, you want to make sure that you're setting smart goals and that you can measure it, Mm -hmm. right? Not not just, I want to write a book. I want to write a book by this date. And if you have to adjust the date as you go, fine but at least you know you have something to work toward so that is awesome and also keisha i do want to ask you about your writing process i know you told us to just start Mm -hmm. and to make sure we have the accountability um as well from our village and our tribe Mm -hmm. is that how you wrote this particular novel or did you have another writing process my process um i had to do accountability myself and i said okay we are going to do a chapter a day a chapter a day and I kind of said okay how many chapters do I think so I first I was like okay a 20 chapter book you need to do a chapter a day and like I said you can always go back and revise and edit and, and you know make it even better but I gave myself 20 days and I had to do a chapter a day and then you feel that if you don't get it done it's like ugh. I missed the day. So no, you had only 23 days. So now you have to do two chapters the next day because you skipped the other day. So I was on myself with that. And then I told somebody, so now they were looking for the chapter day. So yeah, but that I found was, you know, that made it less pressure and made it less like of a burden to just, oh, I have to finish this whole book right now. No, do a chapter a day. And you'll, you'll be surprised how it just flows like you'll have that freedom you'll, it'll just flow and then you can breathe after because okay i did my chapter all right until tomorrow and then all your ideas will come and stuff like that so yeah that's how i was able to complete the book and then you know there's always revisions and developmental editing and stuff like that but yeah i love it keisha i love it because um it reminds me of the saying how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time and so sometimes when you're thinking about the whole pie right the whole book you're like man this is just too big too much chapters there's no way i can write that um but if like you said one chapter at a time one day at a time yes you know one part at a time and you will get to your finish line i um remember when i was writing my second book Uh, My first book was only eight chapters. So I remember when I was writing my second book, my writing coach told me to write more chapters. And I remember telling him, oh, there's no way I can do that. I don't have that. (laughs) And he challenged me and said, yes, you do. I said, I'm telling you, I'm letting you know that I don't have more than eight chapters in me. Oh man, he pushed (laughs) and he pushed and he put, and every time I would send in um, my chapters, he will say, this is great, but I need five more. And I'm like, what? And he was like, this is awesome to send me three more. And I was so frustrated, Keisha, because I felt like, man, this person is really just being really difficult for no reason. Mm-hmm. But do you know, at the end of that process, I had, my second book had 28 chapters. See? So I wrote See? 20 uh-huh. additional chapters. <laughs> Then I did the first time, but I had already limited myself and told myself that I can't do more than I did in the past. And so for everyone listening, you can do more. Yes. You can push more. You can fight more. 
You can yes. be more disciplined. You can learn more. You can be stretched more. So do not mm -hmm. limit yourself. So thank you, Keisha, for those words of advice, because that really helps us to see that sometimes we just have to be open to being stretched. Um, uh, sometimes we want God to enlarge our territory, not realizing that he has to first enlarge us. And so that is That's awesome. Word. <laughs> yes, 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 ma'am, it yes. is. I'm telling you, it, it's it's incredible what you can accomplish with just some some pushing and some support. Um, mm -hmm. I do have a question for you dun, dun, regarding dun. the novel. Okay. And so in the novel, you have a character. Um, and I want to make sure I'm saying her name correctly. Is it Ailani? Ailani. Ailani. Ooh. Yes. Okay, so Ailani, right? Is she anything like Keisha? I'm just okay. curious. <laughs> I am Ailani. Ailani is me. <laughs> like, it is, I know it, is, <laughs> it is all the way based on me. <laughs> like I knew. Um, I'm like, wait a minute. I have a feeling. I feel like oh, yeah. Ailani and Keisha might be the same person, but in different times of their lives. But I'm just saying. Yes, in different times. She is the 20-year-old <laughs> version of myself. Got it. The didn't know any better. <laughs> version of myself just getting out there and um the story actually it's fiction but it is definitely inspired by a real story a real relationship um and that's how serious the relationship <laughs> got that i had to write a whole book about it <laughs> mm -hmm. but yes it's we're very similar um similar some things are a bit different but we're very similar. And like even writing, it was such an experience because I had to take myself back to that 20 year old and relive some of the events in the book. And it's just like, ugh, like me now, I know better. And I, you know, but it's like, oh girl, what were you thinking? <laughs> but yeah, we're definitely very much alike. She's based on me. So there you awesome. have it, people. Now don't that's don't awesome. come writing me asking, okay, is this true? Is this true? Is this true? <laughs> I'm telling, but it is definitely based on a real story. Awesome. That's right, everybody. It's inspired by, okay? So not <laughs> everything actually happened. It's inspired <laughs> by inspired by her 20 year old yes. self and it's so beautiful too keisha because you get to have a certain perspective when you're writing about your younger self because like you said knowing what you know now yes and now you can really kind of understand this is what i was feeling and this is where it came from and this is why and it's so it's, it's so beautiful to to grow and to mature and to be able to Mm -hmm. I guess talk to our younger self and so thank you for doing that and I'm sure our readers will be able to see themselves in oh yeah um in the book as well I, I do want to ask you because we want to make sure that we support and we get our own personal copy so how do we get a copy of your book all my crazy so all my crazy is available on amazon.com you can type in my name Keisha Miles and it'll pop right up it's brand spanking new, so when you type in the title, it takes some time to populate. But also, if you follow me on Instagram, author K Miles, and that's Miles with a Y, in the link in my bio, there's a link that takes you directly there. And that's the way you can go ahead and get your copy. So awesome. Excited. Mine came in today. <laughs> look, so look how gorgeous. Can we see this cover again? It's so beautiful. Yes. Look, at, look at this, guys. Look at this picture. Oh, 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 oh. Listen. One more time, Keisha. We want to see okay. it one more time. No problem. So yes, I look do look a little, you know, like I might cut somebody, but I won't. It's okay. <laughs> that's okay. That is the all my crazy look. Yes. Listen, that's all yes. right. <laughs> Guys, make sure you go to Amazon right now. In this moment, listen, right now, do not wait. And go get your copy of All My Crazy by Keisha Miles. She is an author. Um, we're so excited. And we know that this is the first of many incredible stories 
from her because she's a novelist and she's a storyteller. And so she's going to be telling stories for a very long time to come. And Keisha, thank you for taking time to hang out with us today in the Masterpiece Lounge. We were so excited to just spend some time with you. Um, thank you so much. And to our viewers, thank you for coming on and hanging out in the Masterpiece Lounge with Chris and Natha. Um, you'll find us here, same time, same place, <laughs> Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 12 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Central. <laughs> Keisha, thank you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you for having me. I am truly grateful for the opportunity to hang out with you, and thank you for having me, and thank you to all those that will support. Thank you. Awesome. Yes, guys, thank you in advance. Let's yes. show Keisha how we do it in the Masterpiece Lounge, that we love people in word and in deed. Okay, so let's go get our copies of our book. And guys, thank you again. Have an incredible day. And remember that I am a masterpiece and so are you. God bless you guys. Have an incredible day.